Hey guys, if you're researching Wyndham, Maine, I'm gonna tell you five things about Wyndham. Wyndham is great. It's a, it's a big geographically, so that you know the location is really cool. And we'll talk about that a little bit later on. But the first thing I want to talk about is the lakes. Wyndham borders a few lakes. It uh, touches Lake Sebago quite a bit on Jordan Bay area, like over in there. A lake called Little Sebago, which is east of Sebago Lake. It's an awesome lake. The Little Sebago is really nice. We know a lot of people that that live out there. Kind of has the whole bottom. Half half of the lake, you know, which is kind of nice. And then over even further east, closer to Portland, there's a lake called Highland Lake, and Wyndham covers a, the lion's share of that lake. Um, Highland Lake is really cool. And then there's a lot of little like ponds kind of mixed in there as well. So if you like lake and freshwater activity, Wyndham, Maine is where it's at. Very cool, very cool views at all of these different lakes. Number two that we want to talk about, being outdoors. Again, you got the lakes, there's lots of places to hike, snowmobile in the winter, boat in the summer. If you want to just get outdoors in Wyndham, it's a great town for that. If you just like being outdoors and being an outdoor enthusiast, so to speak. So number three, diverse housing options in like all different price ranges. I love Wyndham from that respect. There's smaller houses so that can fit the smaller budget. There's big giant houses if you're looking for a big spread. You know, there's waterfront because of the lakes. Um, there's just a ton of different options. There's condos, there's single families. There's, it's really amazing. Now the downtown area in Wyndham, it's really like a very convenient downtown, I guess is the best way to say it. Route 302 that rolls right through there and on 302 there's a big stretch of like a lot of restaurants, a lot of stores. You got the quintessential like Home Depot, Walmart, like grocery stores, but there are a lot of cool restaurants, you know, gas stations, every, everything you would really need there. And because there's a lot of lakes there, there's a lot of like marine shops and places, you know, that you can get your boats fixed and you know, all, all sorts of stuff there. But it's right there on 302. There's a lot of, a lot of stores, a lot of shops, a lot of restaurants right there. So it's very convenient. You know, if you're hanging on the lake and you just want to run and grab a quick bite to eat, stop at the grocery store, it's really, really great for that. Last but not least, like I talked about, the location of Wyndham is great. Geographically, it is huge, and parts of Wyndham is extremely close to the Portland area. So if you're looking for an easy easy commute, it's really awesome. All access to like Lake Sebago and then up, up towards the mountains like Bridgeton area and all that stuff. Very easy access to a lot of those things. I mean, it's really great from that perspective. I like the location because it's kind of like, you know, you, you can get to the well, Portland, you get to the airport easy, you can get south easy enough, you can get north easy enough. It's just a very central location. I really, really like Wyndham from that perspective. So, hey, anyway, hopefully this was helpful. If you have any questions about Wyndham, happy to help out. Comment below. If you want to add anything, comment below, please. And uh, remember, if you make Maine your home, you don't have to do it alone. Please make sure that you subscribe to the channel and one of these buttons over here. You get a lot of great information about real estate, the state of Maine, cool things to do, all that kind of stuff. And of course, if you have any questions at any time, comment below or hit us up on all social media platforms and we'd love to help you out. And uh, we love talking about Maine and real estate in Maine.